Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two cases, one about action carefully and the other about anion carefully. You can see the first case and in this case fetus has no fetal head and there is no skull vault visible, no frontal bone and no eyes seen in this case and this is, um, anomaly is called action carefully. The other case will show the missing of the fetal skull vault that is anion carefully. Now in this case of action carefully the brain matter is exposed directly exposed to the amniotic fluid. First trimester ultrasound findings of action carefully include decreased size of cranial pole compared with the chest, dorsally bulging cranial pole, irregularities of the surface of the cranium and ecogenic amniotic fluid. You can see the fetal movements are normal, fetal cardiac activity and blood flow is also normal but the fetal head, the frontal bone is missing and the brain matter is visible without any skull vault and is exposed, to, directly exposed to the amniotic fluid. Action Capli is a rare malformation of the neural tube with a large amount of protruding brain tissue and absence of calvarian. It is considered to be an embryological precursor of anion Capli where the facial structures and base of the brain are always present. But in this case of anion action Capli, these are missing. And most cases are stillborn. Action Capli is due to the failure of the interior neuropore to close during the fourth week of embryonic development. The underlying defect is due to failure of the mesen camel migration. In pathological studies, the action Catholic brain is noted to be covered by a highly vascular epithelial layer. Acranion refers to the absence of fetal skull with freely exposed brain tissue to amniotic fluid. Acrania often results in anion Catholic and some believe it is a precursor to all cases of anion Catholic. Both can be seen on ultrasound in the first trimester, but here the duration of the pregnancy is about 17 weeks, 17.5 weeks. You can see the fetal heart, fetal cardiac activity and the fetal movements. Now you are going to see the other case. Now Placenta is right lateral in this case. Now, this is the brain matter, and now you can see these other video. This video shows the anion Catholic fetus. Anion Catholic is a serious birth defect in which baby is born without parts of the brain and skull. So it is when neural tube fails to close at the base of the skull, neural tube defects may be caused by genes passed on from both parents. 
and by the environmental factors. Some of the factors include obesity, uncontrolled diabetes in the mother, and some prescription medicines. Anencaphaly is the absence of large part of the brain and skull. It is normal fetal uh, ultrasound performed at 17.5 weeks. Uh, th this one is performed at 21 weeks. The development of the brain and nervous system begins early in the fetal development. Anencaphaly is one of the most common neural tube defects. Neural tube defects are birth defects that affect the tissue that becomes the spinal cord and the brain. Anencaphaly occurs early in the development of an un unborn baby. It results when the upper part of the neural tube fails to close. The exact cause is not known. Possible causes of anencaphaly may include the environmental toxins and low intake of folic acid by the mother during pregnancy. In nearly all the fetuses with anencaphaly, the movements are qualitatively abnormal. They are forceful, jerky in character and are of large am amplitude. As you can see in this case, anencaphaly is a lethal diagnosis incompatible with sustained life. It has been understood that if an anencaphaly infant is live born, fetal demise will soon be imminent. Death will be imminent. Several studies have reported anencaphaly to be 100% lethal in the first year of life. Anencaphaly is, can be detected by, not, by ultrasound as early as 11 weeks of gestation. If some amount of neural tissue is present, the condition is termed as exencaphaly. Polyhydromnia is usually associated with neural tube defects. No treatment option is available for anencaphaly. Anencaphaly can theoretically be diagnosed as early as 8 weeks. However, it may be missed in the first trimester. There is 100% accuracy in the second trimester for this diagnosis by ultrasound. One study shows ultrasound alone was 97% sensitive and 100% specific in the diagnosing an open neural tube defect. By ultrasound, the appearance will resemble the Mickey Mouse ears. Additionally, a, me a measurement from the top of the head to the rump, that is crown rump length or CRL, CRL is the significantly reduced in affected fetuses in the first trimester. One of the um, fetuses of those fetuses with anencaphaly, a small proportion will die while still in the uterus. Interuterine fetal demise or stillborn with stillbirth. Approximately 25% will have excessive amniotic fluid around the fetus, that is polyhydramnios. Polyhydramnios may cause extra stretching of the uterus, resulting in preterm contractions. An infant born with anencaphaly has some or most of the brain missing. These infants are unconscious, cannot feel, and are usually blind and deaf. Infants with anencaphaly are still born in about 75% of cases. Newborn who survive die within several hours, days or weeks. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.